Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is a special Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Okay, this is not going to be a Lumber Tycoon 2 play. I am um, going to get back to what I love doing, and that is programming. I love programming, I love scripting, I love building, I love it, okay? But the problem is everybody's been watching my lumber videos and I've been seeing where like I try other videos and they just don't get views. And that it's not about total views, but I've gotta be able to sustain my channel. I've got to have something. So um, the, other, the other part to this is lumber, okay, is I love lumber. No offense, okay? But there's some stuff that I would like to control about it. There's some things that I would like to do and I would like to like expand on it. Um, with that being said, <clears throat> there have been a load of copies of Lumber Tycoon 2 and this is where they, the person gets a hold of the original script, they upload it as their own, they tweak some little things and all of a sudden it's Lumber Tycoon 3 or something else and that is not right. That's no. Okay. So what I am doing, all right, is as a new video series or as a new video, all right, I'm going to be developing my own lumber. Okay. Don't get excited. Don't oh, uh, comp, wait, wait. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. If you've been here a while and you're like, yay, he's doing his own thing. Don't because this might not take off. Okay. I could start this thing and get pretty far and it could just completely bomb on me. And I might find that it's too big of a task for myself. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm super excited to start programming again and I'm super excited to have a lumber of my own. Now, with that being said, this is not to replace Lumber Tycoon 2, okay? This is to do my own Lumber Tycoon 2 in my own style and I'll change things if I if I need to but as of right now I'll show you I've got no scripts I've got no anything like these th this is base this is literally I just I started building some things and threw some things here this is not lumber okay what I do need to do is I need to observe what happens in lumber and try and replicate or come really close to that same thing over here. So like the color of the grass, is that the same color of grass over here? Like, uh, am I seeing the same thing? Uh, the road that he uses, right? It's a, it's a cobblestone, um, like it's a whitish mesh and like, okay, I actually want to do that. So I'll make a new part, right? I want to make sure that that part is anchored, so anchor it, and then I'm going to change its surface to smooth, no outlines. I think I got to do that on all sides. I don't know if Defaulto uses glue. I think he uses welds. Anyhow, the texture is all wrong, so let's change the material to pebbles. And if we leave it the gray colors, it the same gray color as that one. Yeah, pretty close. So. I can take and flatten that out, because if you look, there is no, there's like a 0.5. <clears throat> so let's uh, change the move studs and we will go down to 0.5. Hold on, uh, position, orientation, I need size, size, there we go. Size on the Y is 0.5. Does that look about right? We can move this down. Oh gosh. All right. Turn off the move factor. There we go. Turn that back on. So is that how... I would say it's even thinner than that. Hold on. Yeah, let's go F5, oops, F5 on this. There we go. Do -do -do -do. Hello. Where did my part go? I probably should have put it over closer to spawn. By the way, I don't have the lighting correctly either. So, oh yeah, that we're, we're, we need to go much shorter than that. So, stop. Okay, first off, where spawns? Where are they? Are they over here? Oh, there they are. 
Okay, so let's move this over closer to spawn. There we go. So, um, basically, this video is going to be 30 minutes long. It's going to be me basically building, doing things, and taking observations that I see from here, from lumber, and trying to recreate them here. Okay, so I hope you follow along with me, and I hope I do a really good job. And it, it, I, I want to come up with, first and foremost, a list of things that we love about lumber that you that I want to see over here. First thing I love is this right here. I haven't seen many other games where you can grab stuff and lift it. Like that right there is a huge factor as to what I want inside mine. Even if I do a different game of some kind, I want to have this ability. So I've been working on trying to get it figured out and get it programmed on a different game. Um, but then the buy sell factor with uh, with the shops. I love those. So let's write these down. Why not? Notepad. Okay. Things. Uh, oops. This. <laughs> Things I like about lumber that I want in my lumber. Okay. Number one. Grab object ability. Number two, counter sales shops. So I'm gonna write those two things down. Um, I actually go through this process inside my book. So if you're if you're still interested in programming and doing your own thing, um, check out my book. Let's keep that right there for now. And uh, and like I said, I don't want to offend Defaultio by trying to create this. In fact, I would love to have a way to get on a boat inside lumber and go to my lumber and vice versa go from my lumber to like if you wanted to do that uh i don't i don't know maybe maybe not um next trees okay number t number three is going to be tree generation i'll have to figure that one out it i think it uses fractals four axes and chop effect, 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 chop effect, chop effect. We'll just say that. So the next thing that I love is the fact that you come over here, you have an axe, chop, 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 and here, I can actually just purchase an axe. If you guys have never seen this before. Here. So grab, drop, E, Yes, thank you. E to open. Oh, we got we got to write that down. E to open, because that's that's a big factor. We gotta get closer. Gotta get closer. So, do you see this chop effect right here? I I'm pretty sure I know how it works. I just have to. Uh, and if, if you switch sides, it does not change like the chop. I guess it did change the chop direction, didn't it? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, and they're both going now. Anyhow, that portion of the tree, or that tree right there, this log has what's called HP. This axe actually has damage, and the amount of damage it has to do to cut that right there is uh, is determined by the the log of a tree itself. So, uh, by the way, this is um, two parts right here: the outside part and the inside part, or the the core. So, lots of stuff to figure out. This is a this is going to be such a big undertaking. And there's going to be a lot of you asking, "Hey, can I help you program it? Can I help you script?" No. Um, <laughs> this is going to be an undertaking that I'm going to have to do all on my own. And if I if I were to hire people to do it for me, I I think it would lose the concept of me making my lumber. So, um, and again, um, I I am doing this all off off observations. I'm doing these videos strictly for proof that I'm not using anything out of his game. I am doing everything off observation and trying my best. So. Um, thank you for the subscribe. I didn't say who you were. Brianna, 
Maureen? Brianna. Thank you. Okay. Where was the size on this? Size was... Let's do 0 0.03. Wow, that was really small, isn't it? I don't want to go that small. What if I do 0 0.333? 0 0.333. It's still too big. Uh, what about 0 0.0125? That's smaller than 0 0.2. Can't go that small. Um, what if I just do 0 0.1? Wait. If ten, okay, Google, what's ten divided by five? The answer is two. Two point two. Let's go point two. I think that will be good. Let's turn the move back off and go down until it attaches or intercepts. Turn these back on, and I'm actually going to scale this up. Hold Shift, hold Control. don't want you in the middle of the road. There we go. Man, this really should be at the end of the road. Hmm. Maybe I will go like this. Oh, that's something that I wanted to see, um, because I could never remember. The road itself... Here, let's, let's load in here, because I feel weird not having a base to, or a car to run around with. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> We're at 11 minutes. <clears throat> I hope you, like, enjoy this one. Uh, oh, wait. I forgot. I was making a list of things. Um, we love the axes and the chop effects. I would like to carry those over, maybe make my own axes. Uh, number five. Number five. Um, selling. Sales. Selling of wood to make money. Number six, um, bases for building includes blueprints or some kind of placement system. Seven, sawmills for planking wood or more money. Number eight, what do I like about number eight? We'll come back to it. Looks like we're about to load. Select, load, confirm. <clears throat> I love the present concept too. Like, presence. <sighs> this is going to be huge because um, personally I've never downloaded a copy or the illegal copy that was um, taken from the original Lumber Taken 2 game. So without me seeing the code or seeing the scripts or seeing how it's all put together, I might have a big problem. <clears throat> so, but I will do my best in my own code primate way to try and make this work. And even if it just becomes like Lumber Tycoon 2 simulator of some kind, I will still try to do my best to get it out for you guys. So. And again, this is not going to be like, oh, next week I've got my lumber and it's done. Just, no, not happening. <laughs> uh, I love the concept of pink cars uh, it being a rarity. And what I don't love is duplicators, people who dupe. Okay, let's grab that car's full of presents. I can't use that one. Come here, car. All right. And I might start building the models before I actually script anything, so like... Whoa! Hello! Pink car just came flying down. Did you guys see that? <clears throat> I might build the models and then put the stuff together. Who knows? Okay. So this road concept right here, this road portion right here... Okay, it ends before it gets up to this portion here. But, if we look, isn't this uh, pebbles as well? Just a different color. It is pebbles. So these these two styles are different, but same same material. So, uh, oh wait wait, I gotta hold on stop stop. Tutorials build amazing games and with Roblox experience, you should go and do that. 
Um, hold on. Test. Test. Stop. Stop. How do I stop? What is this? Oh, that's why. There we go. Okay. Let's go back over here. I had started an instance of it. Not a thing. Okay, so if you look over here, I already started in on like kind of a path thing, but it looks like it might be too bright. What color is this? It's like a yellowish color. Um, I might go lighter with that. Actually, I'm gonna leave it. I think that's just a lighting effect. So, let's zoom back in here. That looks awesome. Okay, and I'm going to rename this to Road. F2, we're just gonna call this Road. And then we're gonna put it inside Land. So it can be, oh, oh no. This can't be called Road. Um, this will be Road 1. Road 1. And these will be Road 2. And I'm probably sure I'll come up with another road on the other side. Anyhow, I've called these rock walls, all the all the brown ones, and I've called this grass. Uh, I think I called this seafloor, didn't I? Yeah, seafloor, and then this is called water. Oh, that's something I need to observe, um, how the actual water works. So if we go and look, oh, come on. What do I have? I got a chicken axe and I've got an end times axe, so if I lose the axes, that's okay. Well it's not it's not okay, but you know what I mean. It'll be fine. We'll be okay. I've got plenty of axes from everyone. By the way, if um I don't want this to be emotionally disturbing to everyone of me being like, oh no, I'm quitting lumber. That is not the case. I will still play lumber. I'm just, I'm trying to make my own lumber. Okay. So here's the water. Now, if you put the, the camera, notice how the camera changes. It gets a filter, not really fog so much, but there's like a color correction. When the camera goes below the water, it changes. But now, if your character goes into the water, they don't really change. Wait, am I walking underwater? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was not, uh, I was taking damage, but I wasn't really, hmm, hmm. Also, it looks like these might be wedges. Instead of just, uh, just turns. So, I might wedge these up. And inner turns like this, are, they work. Like, you can, you can do that, no problem. Hmm, I can't tell if these are... Oh, wait, you know what I can do? I can do that whole shift lock thingy. Maybe. If I get down here and I'm shift locked into the thing. Oh yeah, it's a it's a it's a wedge. It is a wedge. So that's how I put them together. It's not just a a single. It's not like uh, here's a block, here's a block, and it's no. This is this is a full block. Like that's a huge block. So. I'll have to change my concept on that one. Because right now, if we go look at mine, um, this is how I've got mine set up. These are like thin, thin little pieces like this and then these. So I'm gonna change that. Uh, in fact, we could probably go through here, select these three, delete. Um, let's see, delete that. Delete this over here. There we go. These, what is that? That's not mine, is it? Is that mine? 
Oh, that's the base plate. I forgot. I forgot I had a base plate in here. So if you guys happen to get under the map, base plate. Right there. Not that you'll be in the game anytime soon, but... <laughs> Alright. Let's do size. Just make these really big. Make that a concept. Make this a thing. Cool. Cool. Alright, so let's duplicate this. Now, that means I'm going to have to delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. There we go. Do we have any other grass hanging out there? No. Okay. Let's go back over here. I'm going to do shift, no, control D to duplicate. We're just going to move this out over here. And I'm actually doing uh, stretches on it, so. There we go. Um, shape, 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 shape. Cast shadows, yes. Where's the shape? Block, can I do wedge? No. <clears throat> custom, custom physics property. How do you turn it into a wedge if it's already a block? Okay, well that, there's a wedge. So what's different about this? Hmm. Oh, properties, wedge part. Property part, wedge part. Part, wedge part. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's look and see what color we got selected on this one. That's sea green. That one there. Sea green. So we're going to change this one to sea green. And we're going to change the material to grass. Good. Just like that. Uh, I can delete this actually. And we want to bring this over here. Hello. We're going to rotate you around. This will make it actually easier to build. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Wait. What? Oh, are you anchored? What's going on? There we go. I should be able to, yes. Perfect. That lines up so much better than trying to get that thing to do the other thing. Stretch it down, stretch it left. How much of an angle do we have right here? Is that 45 degrees? I don't think it's 45. By the way, oh, there we go. Now I'm, I'm flying around. <clears throat> anybody, anybody see what kind of angle that is? Is that 45 degrees? Hold on. That looks about the degree of walk. Is that it? Yeah, we're good. So now we just, oops, hold on. We just stretch this like that. Stretch it more like that. Now if I walk down this thing, it's actually pretty big. Like the whole size together. Let's see, one, two. It's about two avatars big. So, hold on, come here. Uh, give me the move. What if I push it? Like, give it a. Oof, there we go. Oh, what happened? Let's go back down. There we go. We're back to normal. And we need to come down just a little bit with this. We want it going through the floor, right? And stretch this out. And this wedge, we're going to rename Grass Wedge. There we go. And then we can move that into here somewhere. Oh, no, we don't want it apparent of the... Oh, poop. 
There we go. Put it in there. And excuse me. Excuse me. How far is this going to come over? I guess all the way until. No, that's not going to work. So, yeah. let's make this a little bit bigger. I was worried about making the, the bricks too big, but if you look at these things, those are humongous bricks. Look at that. The concept of how big this stuff is is just mind blowing. Like I can't, I can't jump up this. And it's one, two, three. It's three avatars big. If we come and look at mine. Nope. I guess I guess it's that big. Okay, that's cool. The concept of this ocean's deeper. Because that's like one fourth the way up the wedge. So. We're gonna have to take this ocean, move it down. <laughs> We're at 26 minutes, if you've been watching. Again, I'm not even programming the scripts yet. This is just trying to get the uh, sizes and concepts of what we want. Yeah, this ocean's got to go down. Let's just move it all the way down for the moment. There we go. And this, we're going to scale like that. Oh no, I messed up this side again. No. Okay, let's select move. Actually, couldn't we just make them the same height and then let's do that. So, what height is this? Um, let's see. 52. We're going to make it 55 high. And then we're going to make this one. Uh, no, this one. 55 high. Just move this down to the same height. Uh, what height is this one at? Position 25.9. I don't like that. Let's make it an even negative 25. And we'll take this one down to negative 25. And voila. We are same, same right there. Ooh, I like that, that concept too. That's good. That's good, good, good. We're going to go and anchor that in. And did we anchor this one? Is it anchored? Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> so, let's just take a look. Take a quick peek. See if the concept looks the same. Pretty close. I would say with some lighting effects. Okay, let's go look at our lighting. What kind of lighting do we have on right now? We've got compatibility. What if we went to legacy? Legacy is horrible. Shadow mapping? No, that's voxel. Hmm. I wonder what lighting he uses. Ambient outdoors, brightness, ambience. And doesn't he use fog? Like there's, there's definitely fog here. 
If I look off in the distance of my stuff, it doesn't have any kind of fog. But his has got fog. Hmm. We'll get there, eventually. We're at 30 minutes. So, <sighs> welcome back to uh, How to Make a Game. Hopefully, like I said, this is just a concept and it's just me driving in a different direction. It's still lumber, it's still things, but it's not lumber lumber. So, I hope you enjoyed. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end like a good YouTuber's supposed to do. And um, we will talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.